Well, hello there. Welcome back to our polygon geometry unit. And we're going to do a little bit more work with triangles today. And just to start us off, I have this triangle here, triangle XYZ or XYZ. And I don't know if you see that triangle symbol, but in geometry, we kind of just make a little triangle to say it's a triangle. And it's called XYZ because that's the line segments in the triangle that make up the triangle. And so if you could name each angle in XYZ as an acute, right, or obtuse, um, what would you do? What strategy would you would you use to do that? And just as a little bit of review, what is the sum of the angles in the triangle? Okay, so we spent some time in the last lesson looking at attributes, classifying triangles by certain attributes that we can observe. And in this time, we're going to kind of do a little bit of that, but we're going to, we're going to focus only on angles today. And so we can name triangles by their angles. And the first one here um, is a, an acute triangle. And it's called an acute triangle because all the angles in the triangle are less than 90 degrees. And we know all, all angles below 90 degrees between zero and 90 are acute angles. So if all three angles in a triangle are acute angles, we call it an acute triangle. There's, I mentioned this in the last lesson, there's a triangle called a right triangle. And all that means is one angle is a 90 degree angle. Okay, and so you'll, they're really, really easy to spot because it looks kind of like a, a square corner and we always indicate the right angle with this box here. Okay, so we know it's a right angle. So this is a right angle triangle. And the last one is an obtuse triangle. And we've heard that word obtuse before. That means that it has one angle greater than 90 degrees. And it's typically um, the way from the two points on the bottom. Even though this is upside down, this could be considered the top here, angle H. It is 110 degrees. And if you think back to our last unit, that leaves these two to, um, we have what, 70 degrees left between the two of them so that they equal 180. Now what we can do with these triangles, we can sort them in a Venn diagram. And a Venn diagram, if you don't know, compares two things and we see what they have in common and what they have as differences. And so I made one up about isosceles triangles, I spelt it right this time, and acute triangles. Okay, And so the left uh, loop there is all the isosceles triangles, the right side is all the acute triangles, and in the middle they're both isosceles and acute. And so on the left, you can see that um, these are isosceles triangles, and we know it's because it has a shared common um, angle in the corners there. Um, I know this one here is not an acute because of this 100 degrees. That makes it an obtuse triangle. Okay, So it's still an isosceles triangle, but it's an, an, an obtuse isosceles triangle. This one here funny enough, is a right angle triangle, but yet it is also an isosceles triangle, okay? And the reason is, remember, everything adds up to 180 degrees, so we have the 45 plus 45 is 90, with that right angle is 90, so that's our 180. I'm gonna move to the very far side, and that's the acute triangles. All of the triangles in those are less than 90 degrees. And just so you're, if you're wondering, I didn't make this to scale. Uh, I was limited by the triangle tools, drawing tools that I had. So I just made up some numbers, just so you know, but they all add up to 180. And um, yeah, those aren't accurate at all. Uh, in the middle though, this guy here, it is both an isosceles triangle. And we know because these two angles are the same in the corners. And if it was a different, you know, we have some hatch marks maybe that would, that would help us out too. But yet it's also an acute triangle because all of the angles are less than 90 degrees. That's really it. I'm gonna get you to try this. Uh, I have three triangles here. Do you think you can name them as an acute, obtuse, or right angle triangle? Try it out. Okay, um, I don't have a protractor, but I can tell that in the purple triangle, all of them are less than 90 degrees. And remember, a 90 degrees is, well, it's not quite that, but similar to that, um, if I was to draw a right angle on these, I can clearly see that it's not a right angle. Okay, so we call this an acute triangle because they're all less than 90 degrees, all the angles, that is. 
The yellow triangle is a right triangle, a right angle triangle. Uh, and I know this just from that fact right there. And then lastly, the gray triangle is an obtuse triangle because this angle here is larger than 90 degrees. It's an obtuse angle. Uh, if I was to draw a rough right angle in here, there would it be, it's clearly over. So that is an obtuse. And I forgot to write right on this one. And that is it, that's our lesson. We're just looking at angles in a triangle and we're classifying them a little bit more just by their by looking at the attributes of their angles. All right guys, that's it. Take care and remember in life math happens. Yeah.